Hello everybody, it's Simo here. Welcome back to another The Isle News video. We've got some very exciting stuff to cover today. Now, there's a lot going on within The Isle's development right now, but we are starting to get hints of information regarding the humans which will ultimately be coming to the game. Update 3 is just around the corner. Right now, they have moved the update into the QA testing phase, so that means that they are working out the bugs to get it ready for public release, and we may see an early beta access that would be public for people to join to test out and help out in the QA process, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Again, humans have started to become part of the conversation again in the aisle. In the Phase 2 section of the Isle's official Discord, we got this image, a landscape concept titled Road Zero One. And here we can see two humans standing in the middle of a, a path worn into the grass. And they both appear to be mercenaries, outfitted in military gear and holding uh, what appears to be assault weapons. Now, in the Isle, there are going to be two factions of humans, the Tribals and the Mercenaries. And what we appear to see here are clearly mercenaries, dressed up in their, uh, you know, combat gear. Now, the Mercenary experience is going to be far more focused on survival horror, the developers have stated. And then there's going to be Tribals, which are going to be more uh, crafting-based, it seems. But this is one of our first looks at the newest concept art for actual humans in the aisle. And we also got this cool image, which I think does allude to the tribals, a sort of painting on the side of this rock of a pteranodon. This would be the first piece of information or even hint at tribals in the game in so very long. The developers have remained very tight-lipped on anything regards to human human factions coming to the Isle, but Kissin Kitten, the producer on the Isle's developer team, shared this little quote on the Isle official Discord a couple of weeks back. If I can ask anything of you guys, since it bears on the future, Please be amicable to the new Discord members that will inevitably show up when we add humans. Even if they do not know as much about dinos as you, etc., let's all make sure it's welcoming because the day is on the horizon later this year. That means we could see humans make their first introduction into the game into Evrima here still in 2021. Now, I know, the updates feel like they're coming along slowly, but I believe the pace of these updates, as they get much of the uh, hard, heavy lifting of the development process out of the way, will speed up into the year. And I'm very hopeful that this will come true, that later on, potentially I'd say in the fall or so, we could see more and more development around humans coming into the game. I mean, we're already starting to see some really cool stuff on uh, Amarok streams and in the dev blogs. Uh, here I got a clip from one of Amarok's latest streams where we're more than likely going to see some additional human structures pop up into the game uh, in addition to the radio tower, garages, and small bunker that have already been introduced onto Isla Spiro. But, of course, without any further ado, let me show you these clips from the Amarok stream. So, in the, this clip here, we see Amarok flying around as the soon-to-be-introduced Pteranodon. But the interesting part is in the distance, you can see a long line stretching across this hill. Now, as Amarok approaches the barrier of the play area, we can see that it is now going to be defined by this Jurassic Park-esque fence that we got a peek at in one of the previous dev blogs. Now this is all very exciting, and hopefully we'll see some of this come in update number three, but update number four could possibly be the big one. Now it's been hinted at that that the old V2 map from the Isle Legacy will be incorporated into Isla Spiro here, and I believe Dondi's taking the head at that, and 
Knowing Dondi, I'm sure he's going to be hiding a ton of cool stuff in this new version of the V2 map, which is a fan favorite from years ago. Now, I know humans coming to the Isle is a contentious issue for many people, but whether we like it or not, they will be part of the game. And I, for one, am very excited to see how this this all forms out. Uh, the hints I've gotten in the past is that mercs are going to be almost uh, escape from Tarkov-esque with horror elements, and then the tribals will be, I don't know, kind of like Ark? But we really just got to wait and see. The devs have remained so tight-lipped, on so much of this for a very long time and the play styles around these two factions could have drastically changed uh, in that time. Now that's gonna do it for this video guys. Thank you all so very much for watching. We'll definitely be keeping you informed on all of the latest that comes out on the development of humans or any anything else regarding the Isle. So if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, and if you are new to the channel, subscribe. We got new videos coming out every day, so ring the bell to join us on the next one. But alright guys, I love you, and I appreciate you. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.